leaving Brushy Creek Mountain Shelter on day 10. Had it all to myself last night. Slept really, really good. I've got uh, about 40 miles to Queen Wilhelmina State Park. Have a reservation at the lodge there on Wednesday. Today is Monday. So I think what I'm gonna do, stick to my original plan and uh, make it to Black Fort Mountain Shelter in two days, which is about 34 miles away, which would leave me uh, just a short six mile day to the lodge, regroup, recharge, get ready for the final stretch, which for me is the most difficult part of the trail. So about 17 miles today, 17 miles tomorrow. Sounds pretty good to me. It's gonna be another beautiful, beautiful day. met a guy named uh, David Wheeler out here doing trail maintenance. David, appreciate all your hard work. You picked a pretty day for it. For the first time westbound, I'm above 2,000 feet. A lot of climbing today up and down. Foosh Mountain, Foosh Mountain, however you pronounce it. Be getting up to uh, 2,500 feet this afternoon once I get past uh, Turner Gap. Run up on this guy, skunk. Got camp set up at mile 73.5. Makes for a 17 mile day from Big Brushy Creek Shelter. Leaves me just under 16 miles to uh, Black Fork Mountain Shelter tomorrow. And for a short day into Queen Wilhelmina on Wednesday. Today was a tough day. Pretty easily the hardest day on trail so far. This, uh, this section kicked my butt four years ago and it did again today. But feeling good, 
Gonna rest up and get ready for tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Leaving camp at mile 73.5. Day 11 on the Washita Trail. Slept good last night. Had a uh, little cold front come through overnight. Switched the wind out of the north. And it rained just a little bit. Got a little cool up here at 2,100 feet. The plan today, I'm about five miles away from Foreign Gap. Got a pretty big climb out of there. And uh, headed to Black Fork Mountain Shelter which is about just under 16 miles. Should be a fairly easy day. And it's gonna be another beautiful one. I could not have asked for better weather. So here we go, day 11 on the Washita Trail. Mile 73. That's 150 miles hike, son. Yeah, climbing on a foreign gap. Getting introduced to the rocks. A preview of things to come. Took a little break here at uh, this campsite at mile 
Shout out to Jimbo 138. Nice work, brother. I've got, uh, let's see, five miles down to Eagle Gap and about six miles left to the shelter. In this descent down to Eagle Gap. There's Black Fork Mountain and there is Rich Mountain. They're just staring you right in the face. Absolutely gorgeous. Leaving Black Fork Mountain Shelter on day 12. Made it uh, just under 16 miles here yesterday. And yesterday was probably my favorite day on trail so far. I don't remember this section at all. And that stretch from Foreign Gap, really to Eagle Gap, all the way up here to Black Fork Mountain, was absolutely gorgeous. Really good energy through there. And coming west, you got Black Fork Mountain and Rich Mountain just in your view the whole way. Just absolutely beautiful. I caught up with a guy named Tim from Iowa, who is uh, the first westbound through hiker I came across. I've been hearing about him. He started at Pinnacle on the 15th, and I caught up with him last night. We shared the shelter, really interesting guy, uh, retired Navy through hike the Appalachian Trail in 2021. So good hanging out with him, good chat with him. He's headed to the lodge today as well. So today is a planned Nero into Queen Wilhelmina State Park. I have a reservation at the lodge. Looking forward to that, looking forward to some R&R. &R. Just a short 6.2, 6.3 up there. Now Rich Mountain is the second highest point in Arkansas at 2,681 feet, I think. Uh, the trail is gonna come just underneath that. So, about to drop down to the Washita River and make that 1,200 foot or so climb up to the top of Rich Mountain. 
It's gonna be a beautiful day. Crossing the Talamina Scenic Byway. There's Rich Mountain Fire Tower up on top of that mountain there. I guess that's the top of Rich Mountain. We're about 2,600 feet. Just a few miles from the lodge. And from what I can remember, things are about to get really rocky. Breakfast, but about to smash some lunch. Walking in here, straight hiker trash. I'm a walking biohazard right now. Sweet tea? Accommodations for the evening. It is before one o'clock and they let me check in early. Got my resupply box. Got a pretty good view. I'm about to take a shower and chill. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for day 12 and part two of my 2023 Washita Trail through hike. Had a short day in here to Queen Wilhelmina. Just had a nice dinner at the restaurant. Get a good night's sleep tonight and get ready to get back on trail in the morning. <laughs>